okay this is just a little demonstration of um, the plus 3e setup that I've got going um, on one of my machines um, I'm gonna be running this on fuse but this is the exact hard drive that I've actually got my surf card the only reason I'm using fuse for this video is that I'm currently doing something on sound tracker on the real specy um, and I don't want to kind of break that, that rhythm um, so what we've got here um, if you look at the bomb We've got a few drives available and you can see that and C is highlighted. We've got one eye device in the bottom left hand corner. Probably would have been a good idea if I had some sort of poking stick. So there we go. We've got one eye drive and we've got lots of drives here. And I'm going to put the loader option here now. So a bit loader. Um, and then what we've got here, we've got a custom menu that's built into it. Um, this menu was done by Keith of TechShack. Um, I've edited it slightly and um, usually the top option would be so that you can boot from um, a real plus 3 DOS internal drive, a uh, floppy drive um, but I've changed it to um, launch uh, Miguel's uh, plus 3 e Explorer uh, but right now um, I'm going to choose boot from the C drive which is the Intel CF card um, again Keith from TechShacks did this quite a few years ago and um, looking at the, the basic code that, that's involved in this has been a great help um, for <coughs> helping me understand how, how everything goes together and let's just turn that light off so what we've got here um, like I say Keith has uh, set up some, some great stuff here we've got lots of games here that we are on this um, this hard drive image that you can download from Tech Shack and there's a lot of information on there as well which will give you a good idea of, of, of how you can get this set up and, and what you need to do and some very good instructions um, so let's just say let's let's load Exelon because I'm an Exelon freak I love that game so we'll, we'll load that game um, you'll see how quick things load um, these have been converted taps that have been put onto um, the HDF image uh, we've got the pokes already saying so there we go um, there's no audio at the moment because uh, I haven't got this screen uh, rigged up with any audio so we've got our key set so as you can see everything's just, just lovely ready to go um, great game one of my favourite this um, I'm sure you don't want to watch me play it though uh, it's quite addictive let's just see how far we get before we switch the game off um, if you haven't played this game, I'd certainly would recommend it. It's one of the best. It's very addictive, very difficult as well. Uh, let's see if we can get through a couple more level screens. Um, it does look very simple. Ah, right, okay. Um, fluff that. Uh, what we'll do, we'll give it a reboot. And um, this is exactly how it appears on on the real spec. You like to say, you notice that we've got um, a blue background with yellow text. Um, the reason why we've got that is one of the features of the plus 3e is that you can set um, the background color and text ink so uh, we could set the the background to um, the background of paper to possibly red if you really wanted to um, it'll go back to blue because it's there's, there's commands that you can do to make that permanent um, show you spectrum 2 if we do um, air set at the end of that um, and then we reset we should see everything go to a glorious glorious kind of air and it's more North Korean or Russian kind of red that you can sit and, and print and program away in there um, anyway yeah probably don't want to watch me do any sort of boring program in there so we'll just reboot again um, what we're going to do is well I'll probably just show you for a second um, I'll show you what happens that's the information that we've got on our drive um, it's a two gigabyte cf card that's currently or two gigabyte cf image hdf file that's currently attached to fuse but this like i say this is the one that is written directly to um directly on on the cf card in the physical spectrum and um, you can see we've got some folders there with, with partitions so the system games demos user data um, you can also see um, alphanumeric folders being set up and that's just for simplicity when you're trying to load a game um, if you have all the games in one folder it takes some time for the spectrum to 
cobble through that and evaluate all the, the file names so if we split them up into half a numeric um, we can get through those folders pretty quick and a lot of stuff will fairly snappy um, yeah it's quite a bunch of that um, so what we can do let's let's give it a reset again um, do -do -do, let's go to the loader again um, this time um, what I will do is load up Miguel's uh, Pustly Explorer there's a cool utility I saw video on it and Miguel um, very happily let me have a copy of it early um, and this is this is a very nice system um, basically you see all the partitions that you've got set up on your CF card um, and to launch a game in here it's it's very easy we can, let's go into the games folder i've got quite a lot of games in this folder so it does take a moment or two for it to pop up um but let's see uh, another nice feature that you get is um, if you go to this on the real spectrum and you've got an led on your cf card reader you can hook that up to make the led flash and give some feedback so you know what's going on um let's see um doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, let's launch uh, Renegade. I think Renegade actually might be. Um, there we go. It's the it's the tape version that's been converted. So there we go. Well, I must say, do we want to cheat? No, 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 no. Um, so you can't load tapes directly. Um, they need to be converted. Um, it generally involves editing the, the basic loader that, that would start up and you'd, you'd merge that in um, and then just put some commands in there that would help um, the loader point to the CF card to load the rest of the files. Um, th th there's been a lot of games that's already been prepared for this so you don't find that you have to do this quite often. Um, so that would be Renegade. Um, one of the other nice things that um, the CF card does do is that you can actually launch um, snap files and Z80 files. Um, they don't just have to be 48k versions; they can also be 1 to 8k um, snapshots. Um, so what you can do is on your PC emulator or whatever, um, you can load up a game um, as long as it's not a multi-pack game that requires loading different levels. Um, you can create a snapshot of it. Um, and then just have that game ready to go. Let's see if we can find one that that's all ready to go. I think I might have put some in. Let's have a look. Okay, let's go back. Let's think it might be some in F. Nope. Okay, let's go. So let me see if they're in user data. Um, nope. Okay, maybe. I can't remember where they were. Anyway. Um, one of the couple of things that I've got set up at the moment is I've got some demos which are one part demos that, that, that just load straight up. Um, again, it's a bit of trial and error. Um, Signal 3 is one of my favourite ones. Loads of snapshot up without any problem. <coughs> um, if we had audio, you'd be able to hear this, but we don't have any audio at the moment. So, again, things work quite nicely. Um, there's a fabulous tune on that, definitely worth having a listen to. Um, so what we'll do, we'll give this a reset once more, um, and then we'll just have a quick look what else we've got. Uh, we've got for the loader again. Um, now, this I, I may have mentioned it, but the, the menu's been customised. It, it doesn't come like this with the, the Explorer built into it. Um, that's something I've done. You can see there. It, my name plastered on it, I'm sure that's some sort of protection mechanism. Um, so let's see, I can't remember where did we put some more snap files. I can't really remember. Um, let's have a look in the games folder again. And the idea is that I will populate these with, with further games, um, but it's been more trial and error so far. Just having a look at what we've got, um, I'm trying to get things up and running on here. There's lots of games to pick from. Um, every you can get pretty much every type of game to to work on it. Um, obviously, games like Robocop, which used to have um, I think a special ocean fast loader, and blue and black bars when it's loading. Um, this has been converted quite easily.
so um, oh, we'll see that maybe in November. Fantastic. Um, so how does it look when it's on disc? One of the things I have found which is, is that um, the Plus 3E seems to be only available in Plus 3 mode. So if you go into 48K mode, it is gone. Um, you haven't got any ability to load anything. However, you can load snapshots of 48K games um, or 48K uh, software that's been loaded in a USR zero mode, so that still accesses um, one to eight K RAM and AY chipset, but you're in forty eight K mode, so they work. Um, there's a little bit of playing around to find out what's possible and what's not. They have been trying to convert some of um, the ESI demos, um, such as Shock or Lyra. I have a little bit of difficulty at the moment. Um, things crash, and it can, it can be quite difficult. For the, one of the things I enjoy doing is, is budging around and, and trying to get things up and running and working. That's that's really what I enjoy doing. So that uh, suits me down to the ground. Um, what we're trying to do here is what we'd like to do is we'll bring up the the Microsoft Bedroom menu um, and we'll go to screen mode. And we'll just have a quick look at tab um, and what I would do. You can see there on the over on the <coughs> Right hand side there is we've got a C and E partition currently assigned to system and games. Um, I'll show you how that works. Um, we can go, should be able to go like this. He says, cat, um, cat E. You should be able to see what's in it. And E says, so there we go. That's what we've, we've actually got in those folders. You can see um, the, the first file will be the basic loader. Files that it loads afterwards, uh, that'll be a, a screen, no doubt, and then uh, onto the next one. Um, so that's how they work. Um, it's it's all very straightforward, very good, quite a lot of fun. Um, I've been enjoying myself quite a lot trying to get these things up and running. Um, definitely recommend it if you've got some time in your hand and you, you're looking for something slightly different. Um, I'm not sure how much better this is over a divide solution. Um, but again, I think the divide solution is much more for people who, who just want to get things up and running and, and load taps and so on and get the, get the games on. And this is much more about, for me anyway, uh, hacking it together, getting a mod it together. You, you'll probably notice that I don't actually play a lot of games. Uh, most of my time spent <laughs> fudging around, getting things up and running and working. Uh, and they're the kind of bits that I enjoy. So I hope that's been uh, useful for you. Um, and see you later. Bye-bye.